Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Guy Bonjour. Welcome to the finale of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. In the last part where Ernest got beat up by the Pirellis and the Pirellis trying to taxi Tommy's businesses. But Tommy kills them and he decides to deal with Sonny Pirelli by calling by Lance and there's a problem. Anyway, Let's start with the final mission. Keep your friends close, but your enemies close. What's going on? Tommy! Oh, good, good, good. Listen, listen, uh, listen. Godfather. I like fish. I love fish. I love the first two I Godfather love them as pets movie. and bowls, or as food on a plate. But as much as I love them, I don't want to sleep with them, okay? But right now, your Italian brothers are coming from up there to fit me with some cement shoes, and I... Shut up, Ken. Sit down. Lance, what the hell's going on? It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. They took longer than I thought. Guys, we gotta make this final. We gotta leave no doubt that this is my operation. Mine! Ken, you get the first one to counterfeit cash and put 20 mil in briefcases. Lance, you get the guys together. The counterfeit cash where he's uh, printing fake money and he's telling the last to keep the guys together. Telling the other position. Tommy! Why? No big hugs for your old buddy! I've had 15 years out of the loop. I'm a bit rusty <laughs> on family etiquette. Oh, he's angry, huh, Tommy? Didn't I say your temper would get you into trouble, huh? There's three mil in the cases. How many was it? Ten? No, eleven men. That's how you get to be called the Howard Butcher. <laughs> you sent me to kill one man! One man! They hey, knew Tommy, I was coming, Sonny. Tommy, watch your tone. Anyone would think you blame me for that unfortunate set of circumstances. Just take the money. Get the damn cash. You know, Tommy, I did what I could for you. I pulled strings, called in favors. I was your friend, Tommy. I hoped you'd see sense, see what's good for business. I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? I'm sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You sold us out. No. I sold you out, Tommy. I sold you out. The real cash is upstairs in the safe. So, Tommy, what was the big plan? You think I just take the fake cash, save face, and run away with my tail between my legs? No. no. I, I just wanted want to piss you off before, before I kill you. you. It's the best GTA protagonist flying. Let's do this. It's good I buy some M60 weapon. I can see the limos. You know you can destroy the limos outside. It's gonna be big shootout. Like the ending of Scarface. Because the mansion is based on Scarface. Piece of shit! The history, Tommy! History! I don't think so. 
dead the mob is calling my money. him off once and for all. Hi, Ken. Tommy? Oh my god, Tommy! What, what happened? What does it look like? It looks like you ruined your suit! And Tommy, that was a beautiful suit! Tommy, what on earth happened? I had a disagreement with a business associate. You know how it is. Tommy! I have a disagreement. I send them an angry letter. Maybe I pee in their mailbox. I don't start World War III. You know, maybe you should speak to my shrink. That stupid prick, Lance. Tommy, I never liked that guy, okay? He's neurotic, he's insecure, he's self-centered. The guy's an asshole. I'm glad you took him out. I don't think we're gonna be getting any more heat from up north either. Because there ain't no up north anymore. It's all down south now. Wait, does that mean what I think it means? Tommy, baby! What do you think it means? That we're in charge. I mean, I mean that you're in charge. Oh, Tommy! You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief, and I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> I know. Ain't it just beautiful? Vice City. And this is the last time we see Vice City in a 3D universe. I hope GTA 6 uh, brings back. Uh, I hope GTA 6 uh, 
will send in Vice City, probably, because I'm not sure what city is going to take place. I mean, in San Andreas, uh, there's three cities, uh, Los Santos, San Fierro, Las Anturas. I don't know if it's going to be Vice City, Las Venturas, or San Fierro, but I hope it's Vice City. The game is good. And also, about the game, the game is good. Yeah, after in the definitive edition release, uh, so I played Vice City on I decided to play the original Vice City instead of the remaster version because uh, I never played the definitive definitive edition either. over yet because there's a uh, epilogue uh, we're gonna get some phone calls can I skip it? yep okay I think I'm gonna get some phone call from Kent Paul there it is Interesting. How are you, my friend? I wanted to ask you about Mercedes. Okay. What about her? Oh, Tommy. Tommy, I, I, I hear these stories, all these stories. I don't know what to think. Maybe she thinks she can do what she likes. But Tommy, tell me, is it true? Is what true? These stories I hear. She, she, she really going to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Tommy, the shame. The shame. You know, we Cortez are a proud family. We would never allow a daughter of ours to become a lawyer. Please, tell me it is so. I, I don't think I could take it. Oh, Colonel. <laughs> I can assure you, Mercedes is never going to become a lawyer. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Tommy, thank you. The shame would be unbearable. She's a lady, not a parasite, you know? Anyway, Tommy, you must excuse me, all right? The new Minister of Interior has arrived. Many years ago, I killed his father in a failed coup, so I must be polite. Hey, good day, amigo. Later. <laughs> it's hilarious phone call that Mercedes will become a lawyer. Uh, Ken Paul is gonna call again. What'd you do that for? I hope I get the third phone call. There it is. Tommy Persetti. How's it going, Mr. Big Shot? I hear all these things about you. Some kind of player in town now, eh? Paul, you're drunk. No, I can hear you, man. I drunk. I had a couple of some treats. I've been a bit of a couple of days, you know. Anyway, don't give me that. I ain't a mug. Who set you up in this town? Oh, me. That's who. Really? Don't give me that. Don't. I introduced you to people. I showed you the ropes. Did a lot of stuff for you. This is how you repay me. You ignore me. You don't give me a way in. All I've done, all I've done for you. Would you think I am a devil or something? Paul, take it easy. I've been busy. Don't be an idiot. I ain't no idiot, Mush. That's what I said in Boston. You are skip the trouble, son. Because you're going to get it. Tommy, mate, please. Use me, big O, please. Don't laugh at me. Uh, Paul, get some sleep, seriously. This is You're Paul's final, uh, final voice, uh, voice line. Okay, now let's go to the, the little Haiti because uh, there's a phone call from Ernest. 
I just didn't think he was like that. Tommy, for a raging lunatic, you're pretty naive. I'll be back at work soon. Teach you a thing or two about life, you hear? Take your time, Ernest. Look after yourself. Yeah, Lance was an idiot. More idiot than Vice City Stories, where he was walking on the streets with his pajamas and Ernest sees him. Yeah, he got what he deserves, man. I wish Vic would have be alive instead of plants. Um, the final phone call is gonna be at the studio. Okay. Tommy, it's Steve. You're a marvel, I'm a marvel, they love us. We are rewriting the record books, pal. We're talking major awards here. I can put my dad in a home and tell him to shut up. It's hot, man. Hot. H-O-T. He never believed in me. Never thought I was an artist. And now I've made it. I'm the best damn skin flick director of all time, my friend. And I just wanted to say, it's a pleasure to have met you. I love you, baby. Don't you go changing on me, you hear? The movie Bite was critical success. Congratulations, Steve. You did what? This is the last time we visit Vice City in a 3D universe. I said it twice. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this this walkthrough. It was nice to play in this the Vice City. It's a classic game. On my next tool, I'll do some three walkthroughs. Uh, I'll do a trailer video about my next walkthrough tomorrow, and I'll show it. So, uh, leave a like and comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.